Hi, we've just um, did a melt with uh, settings that we have ourselves and the settings that were on our system. So between these two folders, we did a melt and did it with some common sense. But you see there are things are exactly the same again, like prior. And that's the danger with scale. Scale is, scale is nice, well, scale is quick, but um, we need to, uh, well, think about what we do. And there is an article on articlelinks.com scale kills my settings and that's exactly what we're trying to do here as well on um, plasma this is the ssd that never goes unfilmed we always film whatever we do and even when we screw up we screw up and we film it that's the promise so this is a rather um well i wouldn't call it a screw up i would learn i call it a learning phase right so we did change some things and i already went to check something because when we make tutorials we need to be the, to be sure that the video is going to be nice and i thought just thought about it just luckily enough to go to the display to go to the compositor and make sure the tearing prevention or v-sync is never because it wasn't automatic and it's now or never so this setting and now it becomes interesting now the video becomes makes sense if you now go i hope <laughs> If you now go to the melt menu and you go inside here, compare selected files and folders, somewhere in here, in that code, should be the difference between putting vsync to never, right? So let's have a look and if, see if we can find it. These are all the unimportant stuff. Unfortunately, if we click manually on that. So here, things have changed already. I just booted up and we left the video that everything was was okay but in here i guess this one in here maybe you'll find it already compositing animation speed 3 backend open jbl enabled um, x render smooth scale false i think this seems to be my settings so that's the one i want to keep on next time when i do a compare those guys are the same one well, Let's see if it's somewhere else as well. Um, preload weight, 100, okay, whatever. That's not important. So let's make sure we get the same things in again. Another compare between left and right. So I'm not sure what these things do, but it's not important for now. Just get them over. Plasma shell. So the launch counts, I lost, I did indeed launch this control shift escape thing. That's this thing, key syscard. So okay, we have now exactly the same thing. System settings, fine, and okay then, without it. Save, so we're getting back to our, the exact same thing. But I do think we've seen already our setting there key is print hmm we were using this meta print super print meta print so there seems to be issues with the meta printing thing meta f6 let's follow the thing that's working right now and let's fix it later on so the key hotkeys the hotkeys should be checked again global Keyboard sh shortcuts key, KDE daemon. And here we have the difference. We've made the control print spectacle and in the scale that's not present. So we are gonna put it back in and my control print spectacle should be in there again. Control save, not sure if it's gonna work right now, no. So I should reboot probably to have it back in there. And this is my code. Let's get that back in like so then. Exactly the same thing. VTK, control O. So the, the left, control C, control A, delete to the right. That's the mine version. So we have exactly the same thing. Now, if we're wondering, so this is exactly the same, right? Refresh. 
Unfortunately, we have to close up all these things again. Or Eric, or delete Atom, delete Chromium, delete Discord for now. And that's all important. Refresh. Same here. Like so. And that's already a little bit better. So less buttons to click and to close. So agreed, everything is the same. Now, if you want to learn, and that's how I learned about Plasma, now it becomes interesting. Settings, where are all the settings of this machine? Compositor was on automatic. Click, apply. When it's applied, it has to be somewhere. It has to be in a, in a setting somewhere. Refresh. All right, we have a new one. <laughs> Gamma, okay, fine. Gamma is good for me. But the setting we wanted to do is this one. And that's actually actually the code. GL prefer buffer swap A and N. So A is automatic, N is never. Automatic, never. Simple letter in the alphabet, reload, and that's the line that causes your setting. That's the setting you need to have in order to have, to, to, to give it to your users, to your um, distribution. If you want to share this with others, that's the file you need to have, and that's the line you need to have, basically. And that's how you learn on, on about Plasma. So let's continue and see what else uh, needs to be fixed because there were other things I saw that were not okay. So let's first see another wallpaper, not that one, thank you. Woo another one please. That's pretty neutral. So we're gonna set our system correct again. Look and feel, Numix is fine, but um, yes, let's just apply it. Then everything is changed. It's gonna be the new mix look, right? So that's a new mix theme, complete thing. Then the workspace theme is gonna be a new mix. That's okay. The cursors take a little bit longer. I'm gonna take the white one since I seem to have the black one. So I'm gonna set my keyboard, my, my plasma system the way I want it. Then make copies, put it in config mine, and always come back later. So that's just a one-time job now. Apply. So it's gonna be a breeze light. Splash screen was on there. Has, well, I clicked look and feel. It had actually this one to stop because of all my actions I did. So none, no splash screen. I want to have a system up and running, just like that. No extra, well, showing anything really. So the colors are okay already. Fonts don't need to be bigger for me, that's okay. Still the set settings look good. And that's all that. Icons, uh, what icons do we have? Ah, the new mix, of course. So, going back to the Sardi arc. Apply. You know, it doesn't kick in right now, it's plasma. It will kick in partially some of the things in this case is actually pretty good but not here uh, we have to quit the application application style breeze yeah gnome is going to take breeze settings so you can choose your arc themes here and the icon theme is Sadi Arc. That's okay. Fall back is Sadi. Why Sadi? Why not Sadi Arc? Like so. Breeze. Mm 
There we go. I think, I think so. Apply. Now we are changing things. So it must be visual in the code at all times. Now, now I think I changed enough already. Let's go and have a look. So super shift return config mine. Did I change anything really, really, really? So melt. This seems to be changed. So I'm going to change the Sardi arc used to be Sardi. It's now Sardi arc. We've decided that just now. This is my new setting for GTK3. Fonts, have I changed the fonts? Just one line it seems when I touched the, the menu. Plank is important, sessions are important. Those are important. And here we are with a lot of stuff. Change some elements and Kwin palette says, okay, then you need to take this and that. Fine, looks good, save. GTK, a GTKRC, fine. Uh, this is gone then. The way we see it and we programmed it, this is then the setting. All this is gone. Seem to have changed something in the past. So yes, the same. KD Globals. Background stuff, coloring, the buttons. Okay, a lot of things. So Control A, Control C, Control A, Delete, Control V. Exactly the same. Those are the settings we like. So we're gonna copy paste it from left to right. Fonts, menu group, splitter thingy. Should Google what it is. The screen locker. Okay, so we have the new mix project. We've just set it, set it to be that one. So next time I wanna have it as well. Same goes for the choice here, the decoration for the breeze theme. Okay, plasma orc. Yeah, just, just an, uh, I guess that's called waste basket. Waste basket dot nine. So that's the wallpaper we're having now. That's super unimportant. But if you say, I want to keep track of things, Control C, Control A, Delete, Control V. So that's another one that's not, um, that we've dealt, dealt with, with, we've seen that. Here's another width and some settings that we can't really read, but it's what we want. And now all the settings that we have set that's the left one, are also in our backup. So if we do a scale, then we can do the, from the motion from right to left again. And it's always interesting to have this kind of backup to analyze and to get to figure out this plasma, just like I'm trying to figure it out. I'm just not an expert in it, but I'll become an expert in it because of the way you do it with melt and system settings and all that. So. Other things is wobbly. The wobbly thing is still there, so we didn't lose that one. And we can keep on looking for elements that we say, okay, uh, what did we change in all these exercises that we've done now? Did we, um, for instance, the um, input devices, the keyboard, numlock on plasma startup, it's still on, it's still on. That's one of the things we've changed earlier on. Another thing was this shortcuts, the custom shortcuts here, Arc Linux here. Does it have the spectacle? If it doesn't, we need to figure that out, right? I don't see it really. I'm not seeing it at all. So let's do an exercise again. But I thought we had another group that we created. And uh, let's do that group again. Oops, what's this? New group. Ah, here we are. Um, 
Okay, got it. That's where it went wrong. So, double click actually. Mine. Remember, we thought of making our own keyboard shortcuts for spectacle that way. But, wait a moment. Can we do a search? Screenshots. That's probably going to be the conflict eh, between these guys and the other one. Um, but we're gonna try anyway. So control print screen and then spectacle and GUI. Spectacle is written correct, I hope. Yeah, okay. Spectacle is working again. So then you wonder, okay, I've changed something. So where is this code? It's gonna be in here somewhere. Up, oh, you go to melt. We have to, to change as well this melt menu. Let's do that together in the same video. Configure Dolphin services. And there was this melt thingy that we said this we don't want, this we don't want. Okay, let's see, compare. Ah, oh, so long, it's a plank. Line text, variety, valdi. Okay, so in here, the case services menu, let's do that one first. Difference, false, true. So false, this should be false, this should be false. And now the case services menu, the thing we've changed, uh, not to see the other two menus from uh, Meltair, that's set and that's saved for next time. So this guy definitely needs to go over next time when I do a scale or something, when it's changed, but I don't think this is changed and you don't have to think you just need to investigate it will never be copy pasted over since it's not there there is no case services menu in our elements here so a scale will not override case services menu rc but you will change it maybe and you'll want to get it back uh, the way it was previously so our hotkey, let's get our keys in. Is that all it? Okay, oh, here he is. So we see the spectacle thingy in here, control print. It's super complex, I must admit. The first things I saw, I saw this uh, configuration, I thought, oh my God. It has to do with data, with numbering 535 and then one conditions, one actions, action zero conditions. It has some logic to it, but it's a long list of code that all go together in order for it to function. So copy pasting the right way is good, of course. Here they change the settings, okay, friendly system settings. Here is the control print, new action with the code. System settings, fine. Activity switching. And we're back. So we've made a copy paste for future time so we can get our spectacle back in from right to left if we do uh, a scale or an update or an change ourselves something. Then we can have a look what did we change, where is it changed. And I do see we have something red down there. Quick update. Video is already 20 minutes. Catfish, okay. Anything else? No, it's white again. So we have an up all, which is the rest is AOR. Oh, I still have to do the new mix icon theme to update it since I'm the maintainer. Um, but I do believe we are up and running again the way I want it to be. Um, if there's change, if I find out I don't like something, 
I'll make another video, but um, everything is okay. I have my keyboard shortcut again. I have uh, my coloring systems, the icons are there. My numlock is on. So I think I set everything the way I want it. And we're out of here. All right, cheers.